Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen. And today here we are with the Xiaomi Mi Band 4 which I was expecting to compare with the 3 of course and also with the Samsung Fit E. And let me start this video by saying that in my opinion this is at this moment the best smart band that we can find on the market right now. Now it's not perfect as we will have the chance to see but it is, in my opinion, once again, the best. Now, I did use it for the last four days and I've already done a few jogging sessions, which I will share with you guys in just a few moments. But let's start with the basics. Looking at it and comparing with the Xiaomi Mi Band 3, it's not very different. Actually, they look very similar. On the 4, uh, it's more of a flat screen. We don't have that small hole on the bottom, but everything else looks very, very similar. The charging method also changed. So if you have the Mi Band 3 and if you purchase the 4, you will also have a different charger, which I'm not really sure why. If you ask me, Robert, is it better, it's worse? For me, it's different, but well, that's what it is. But looking at the screen, one of the best upgrades that we have is exactly this new AMOLED colored screen, which is awesome. Not only inside doors, which if we compare with the Mi Band 3, it has a huge difference even using these optimal light conditions that I've got here on the office, but it has a great thing, which is the option to change the brightness. And this will make all the difference when we use the smart band outside because smart bands were not made to use indoors with fake lights. They were meant to be used outside, jogging and so on and so forth. And as you can see, comparing with the Stratos, the Mi Band 3, and even the Samsung Fit E, the smart band that at this moment has the best screen. Not only the best in terms of brightness, because I can actually see with direct sunlight, but with the colors, it gives me a great sensation of looking at a smart band with this kind of aspect. Now moving to the smart band menu, once we touch the screen and we can scroll down and up, and by the way, I would like to make a small comparison here. While I did review the Samsung Fit E, that we don't have a touch screen, we have to tap and move from screen to screen. Here, we actually have a very sensitive screen. We can scroll down, up and sideways, and it works great. It works even better better than the Mi Band 3, which did not work bad at all. Now, the first screen that we will find is the status. And if we press, we will find the steps, the distance, calories, and the idle alerts. Now, the second is the heart rate. And in terms of the heart rate, it functions very similar to the Mi Band 3, which is if you are in a resting condition, like I am right now, it is quite accurate. But once we start a high intensity activity, it will lose its capabilities. And what I mean by that is that sometimes it will work great and it will be in line with what we are measuring. In my particular case, I always use a chest strap to measure my heart rate. And that is the device that gives me the most accurate result compared to the reality of my physical condition. But the truth is that it will not go near. It will give you false alarms. It will give you values that are completely completely crazy. So this is something that it's not new on smart bands. I was curious to see uh, how it would behave, but it's very similar to the Mi Band 3, very similar to the Samsung Fit E, very similar to most smart bands and watches that use uh, our wrist to take the pulse. So there are no miracles, but in my opinion, it's not a deal breaker. Now moving to the next uh, parts of the menu, we will find the workout, which we will press and we will find six default workouts, the outdoor running, treadmill, cycling, walking, and then exercise and pool swimming. Now regarding the pool swimming, I was waiting to get the Mi Band 4 so that I could make a video comparing the Stratus, which is the one that I use for swimming against the Samsung Fit E, which I was expecting. And some of you guys as well, comparing with the Mi Band 4 and see what kind of data can we get from these two compared to the Stratus to see if it's worth it to get a cheaper device as this one and get similar results to more expensive devices. Now next we have a menu which is weather. And once again, it's nothing special. This is the four forecast, but with a color screen makes things look really, really nice. Then we have the notifications that we can see the all notification, which is great. We also had on the Mi Band 3, not on the Samsung Fit E, which was a disappointment. We can only see if it's from Instagram or Messenger, but we cannot see the message. Here on the Mi Band 4, we can see the all message and from any app, including Instagram, Facebook, and so on and so forth. And then lastly, we have a menu, which is called More. We will have a menu for the Do Not Disturb, the Alarm. The music capabilities is quite interesting. I was a bit on the doubt because we have a small screen. I was thinking, okay, my fingers will not be able to touch on the minus and plus sign, but 
the screen is so sensitive that I can change music and I can change the volume very easily. Uh, so I was actually quite surprised with this function of the music. So for those of you that take your phone and you are listening to music and you want, by some reason, change the track, you can do so right now uh, with the Mi Band 4. Now next we also have a stopwatch, a timer, a fine device, just in case you lose your mobile phone, and then a band display. The band display we can change here on the band for two choices, if I'm not wrong. And then we also have a lot of choices on the app itself. And if you ask me, hey Robert, are those choices great? <laughs> I don't see myself using them actually I my taste I don't like them. and I believe that they are targeted at a different market which is not mine nonetheless they are there and if you want to use them great just go for it I just don't see myself using them and then finally we have the settings and on the settings we will find the brightness which is the most important we also have a new option which is the lock screen and the reboot now battery wise which is one of the most important factors here as we've seen on the Samsung Fit E in the past it took just a couple of days to drain it all when we use all the features here I'm really glad that Xiaomi uh, could achieve the same that it did with the Mi Band 3 even having a colored display we can achieve the 15 to 20 days and I still haven't the band for 20 days but what I did was to charge it about a week ago uh, to 100% that was the only day that I did charge I still have 80% of battery I've been using it every single day doing exercise and so on and so forth to test it out so I'm really happy with the remaining battery now moving to one of the points that I do believe that it's the weakest point is the app itself now the app is not bad at all but uh, when we compare to other apps like the samsung fit e then we will have the basic and the basic for most people will be more than enough even for me but i have to mention this because i have compared a lot of apps for sports and we have a lot more choices and this band has a lot more things to grab from a app Nonetheless, for those of you that use Android, there are other apps that will take advantage of the Mi Band 3 and the Mi Band 4. On iOS, we are a little bit more limited. Is it a deal breaker? Mm, not really. Now, talking about sports, as I said in the beginning of the video, I've done three. The first jogging session was a 12K run. And on that particular session, I did start my activity using the Smart Band only, no app at all and what I had was a deviation uh, of one kilometer so quite a bit in the 12k run on the second day what I did was a 10k run and what I did was to start the activity on the phone instead of starting it on a band and what happens is that the band will grab the GPS signal from the phone so on that second day the 10k was right on spot and of course I was comparing with the phone itself with my Stratus and also with the Mi Band 4 so all the results were on pair Today morning, what I did was a session on the treadmill and I did a session for roughly 45 minutes, 7.5K and my Stratos did more or less the same result. The Mi Band 4, mm, we had a 2K device, so that's a lot. But one thing that I would like to mention here and I will follow up this on Facebook and probably on one future video is that every device that I've used, uh, smart watches, smart bands, they all have the calibration option and that's what I did this morning on the Mi Band 4. When I did finish my treadmill session, it asked me if I wanted to calibrate and I did. I did place the number that I was seeing on my treadmill and comparing with my strata. So what I believe that will happen is that the band will adjust to my pace, will adjust to my way of running and it will improve and improve. The same happened with the Mi Band 3, the same happened with the Stratos, which at this moment is very accurate, but at the beginning it had to learn. And the Mi Band 4 has the ability to learn. So in a few weeks I will be able to tell you if it did learn or if it didn't learn and that is it. I will finish the video as I did start it. In my opinion, this is the best smart band available on the market right now. If you are looking for something that will push you to make a little bit better, if you are looking for a really nice looking smart band with a great screen at a great price, then yes. I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check out the prices and so on and so forth. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.